Why the brain hates change. Our brains aren't programmed to like it when things change. Your brain releases a drug called dopamine every time you do something familiar. Not something good, not something bad, simply something familiar. My theory is it came from the caveman days where you had to do really rubbish things for survival. So your brain gave you this massive dose of drugs and then you go, yay, I'm going to do this thing. And then you're doing it going, I hate this thing. Why am I doing this thing? But it was too late because the drugs made you do it. It's kind of the opposite of endorphins. You know how you get endorphins after exercise and you think, wouldn't it be good if I got my drugs before I did the exercise because it would make it easier to do it? Well, dopamine are the drugs you get before you do stuff. Now, dopamine and endorphins are the basis for heroin. They're good drugs. They motivate behaviour. So your brain loves you to do the same thing over and over again. And when you change, it doesn't like that. When you change, which you will do through this programme, your brain kind of goes, that was different. I don't like different. I don't trust different. I'm not giving you drugs for different. And you go cold turkey. And cold turkey sucks. It's not a nice feeling. It's an uncomfortable feeling. And so what you do is, because you've got this uncomfortable feeling with the change, you start looking for things that are the same. And guess what? There's loads of things that are going to be familiar at this early stage. Loads of things that you will recognise in your behaviour. There'll be things that have changed, of course. But they won't be comfortable because your brain doesn't like those things because they're different. So you're not getting the drugs for the change. You're only getting the reward for noticing what's still the same, which is where you might be at this point. You might be finding it's harder and harder to notice the things that are different because you can become more and more focused on those things that are still the same. So the trick with this is to make those changes familiar as quickly as you can. And the way you do that is you write them down. Every day, at the end of the day, you write down what was different. Not what wasn't, what was different. Now remember, you can only get reward for something you do do. So if you're puppy training, you can't praise your puppy for not weeing on the carpet. You can only praise it for weeing on the grass. Your brain's the same without the weeing. So you want to be writing down stuff that you did do, not that you didn't. So didn't eat as much as I would normally eat. Can't get drugs for that. Finished when I felt full. You can get drugs for that. So the trick is what do I want my reward for? What behaviours do I want to keep? And what behaviours do I want to forget? And those things that haven't changed yet, ignore. And those things that have, you write them down. That locks them in and you get your drugs back for them.